Garrison commander of the UPDF Air Force in Entebbe, Colonel Dan Opitu Odwe, who was arrested about a month ago and detained at Machinde military barracks, has been released. The senior army officer was accused of involvement in subversive activities with the intention of overthrowing President Jerome Seven's government, but he has not been charged in any court of law. When we reached Colonel Opito's home in Naria, a Kampala suburb, we were denied access. But a source inside the home told NTV that Colonel Opito, who was driven back, was in high spirits. It said the president ordered his release. Reliable sources also told NTV that the Paro investigation team the president set up found that the colonel was not culpable for the alleged crimes of subversion. NTV made attempts to speak to Colonel Pito's family members, but none was willing to talk, not even his wife Kate, who previously granted interviews exclusively to NTV after his arrest and thereafter. The last time we spoke to Kate Opito, she told NTV that the army had denied her access to her husband, who was detained at a place she did not know. He has vanished from us. We don't know where he is. Whoever is keeping my husband, I think let them be kind and fair enough to allow me to see him. Because I know it's my right to see him. And I have to see him, talk to him, and know how he is. So I call upon whoever is responsible to have mercy upon the family. It later emerged that Colonel Opito was detained at much in the military barracks. Defense and Army spokesperson Lieutenant Colonel Paddy Kund confirmed Colonel Pito's release to NTV. Yes, he has been released on board. He's expected to report every Friday at military police, but also investigations will continue. On why Colonel Pito did not appear before the court martial like other soldiers and civilians, including MP for Nakawa Division Michael Kabazirukuka, who was charged with treason a few days ago, Lieutenant Colonel Ankunda said investigations were going on. That shouldn't be a problem at all because we are working within the legal framework. This is the third time in 10 years that the army is arresting Colonel Opito for alleged subversion. Opito was a former rebel army in Lango sub-region in 1989. He surrendered and was integrated into the UPDF. More research all in TV.